Battle Army America welcomes in revocation once again, fellas. What's up, man? Good to see you again. Hello. So, you guys have been on the road nonstop since Chaos of Forms came out. You just This tour just started. How does it uh, stack up for you guys uh, compared to all the other nonstop tours you guys have been doing? It's it's just started, so um, it's kind of hard to say, but it's been really cool so far. Like, the, the cool thing about doing the tour is, you know, we tour so many different types of bands, so... Um, there's always a different vibe and you know different different types of crowds that come out just just meeting different people that you know you, you've listened to before in the past and, and heard but you know we've toured with dying fetus before so that's cool so they're a familiar face on the road um so so far it's been cool it's cool too because we this whole tour we get to do the the full country in under three weeks so you know it ensures that we have zero time to party or do anything fun at all we'll, we'll cram it in there fucking night drive every <laughs> single night so that we're real stoked about that he's a little sour because he just did nine hours in a row last night yeah it's okay i got a solid three hours in a sauna when, I, when he got here so sweat it out ready, yeah. ready to roll there it is detox yeah, yeah. Uh, and you mentioned that you guys play in, lot, in front of a lot of different uh types of fans why do you think the band is just able to sort of cross boundaries and break out of the box Once we get into bit? one genre we kind of find that no one wants us there anymore, so we have to migrate to another one. Yeah, we've tried it all, I mean, we, you know. No, I think we just, we have a diverse sound, um, and I, I think our influences come from a lot of different places, um, and I think people can sort of hear that in our music, so I, I mean, we, we fit with, you know, a really death metal um, stuff, we fit with techie stuff, we fit with the thrash crowd, um, you know, we've, I think... You know, we can kind of play with a, a lot of different bands. So, I mean, hopefully we'll be doing that um, Kenny Rogers tour. Soon. Yeah, yeah, I think we had a Yanni uh, offer coming in for Europe yeah. this summer. Yanni's a fucking... <laughs> yeah, that guy, oh my he's God. He's a party animal. He's actually a huge fan of ours, which is pretty cool. You know? Yeah, he specifically requested us. I think he's actually going to do backup vocals on a few songs. Backup fluting. Yeah. Flouting. Is Flout that what he plays? Flouter. Flute. Is that what? Flouter? He's going to strangle a flounder on stage into a microphone. We're going to record that. <laughs> awesome. It, is there a, a subgenre or a style you guys would be afraid to try out in front of your fans, or you feel like you could do anything? I mean, like, I, I don't think we'd break out, like, a full dubstep song or something like that. I mean, it's not that we're afraid to do anything. It's just, do we want to do it, do, or do we like it? it for, for, for us, it's like, you know, it's, it's, it's got to be metal, you know? And, and at the end of the day, you know, we're four dudes playing our instruments on stage and stuff like that so it's 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 got to have that metal vibe to it um it's got to be aggressive even if it's you know we, we we play with other sorts of genres and this and that but even when we're you know delving into other stuff it's always at least has a, some sort of an evil kind of or mysterious vibe to it so you know we can play with other color palettes and this and that but at the end of the day it's got to come back to the to the metal so um good answer all right right on uh, other than naps and saunas and interviewers with uh, interviewing blo with bloggers, you guys have a like a warm up ritual the day of a show. Uh, yeah, Dave and I will stand across from each tandem other bicycle. and just spit in each other's <laughs> mouths for about twenty minutes. Yeah, we'll do a tandem bike ride around the block. Dan, um, Dan <laughs> we just tie to a chair and we just we ver verbally him. insult him until he starts going to a full body sweat. That's, how That's the best him. way to warm up. No, I mean I'll do like a. You know, I mean, you gotta stretch before you get on stage. Uh, Remember that, kid? Stretch before stretch. you any physical activity and after too is actually a, a very important time that people often forget. You're supposed to stretch vocal, after vocal physical activity. Vocal warm-ups. Mostly, it's a tandem bicycle though that really. Yeah, it run. really gets the. Is it a bi bicycle built for two? Yeah, uh, it's a bicycle built for four actually. Um, Dave and I ride on the back uh, two together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, we make it work. Put like picnic baskets in the other two seats. And, Aww. Yeah. You guys. Yeah. All right, that's cool. Um, <laughs> moving right along. That's cool. Yeah, nothing to follow that up with. <laughs> Actually, uh, really like it's a, a bit old now, but I really dug the No Funeral video. Are you guys going to shoot another video for this uh, record yet, or do you know? I don't know for this record, but I'm sure there'll be a, another music video in the works for something that we do. But uh, but glad you dug the, the video. Yeah. Cool. Good stuff. You know, Brodsky, always a good job. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, great. he's a fucking man. I love great it. He's a like, fucking super cool dude, too. That's what I hear. I yeah. hear that from everybody. He's, praising his personality. Yeah, he rules. And then right after this, 18 Nights of Blood, you guys are on the Shockwave tour. Yes. Pretty cool lineup, another diverse lineup. Yeah. Not all different bands, different kind, you know, Voivod and Fear Factory. Um, is there a band on that lineup you're most stoked to watch Probably play? Probably Voivod, I would say. 
real, real pumped. I've never seen them live before, so yeah. super, super stoked about that. Voivod also, they just got, well not just, but they have um, a new guitar player, new quote unquote Dan Longrain, and he's like one of my biggest influences ever on guitar. He plays in a band called Martyr, um, so I'm just, I'm going to punish him really hard on that yeah, tour. Yeah, yeah, it's going to like, be embarrassing for all of us. Yeah, I'm just going to just totally nerd out, and he's, he's probably going to call security on me a couple times. But I must learn his secrets. <laughs> I think you have to eat all of his hair to I was going to say, I think it's in the hair. Yeah. yeah, well, you know, I just shaved mine, so I guess I fucked up. Yeah, that's oh, why wow. you have no power. That's why you suck at the tire. <laughs> oh, you cards. You guys. I Just a, just uh, one more question, which is, since you guys are local to Massachusetts, not Worcester, rumors are rampant that the Palladium is going to get shut down at some point, that's torn true. down. Yeah, we've just been hearing that. Um, you guys certainly grew up here played here many times, yeah. seen many shows here. Any particular feelings about if this venue went away? I say good riddance. <laughs> oh, torch it. Fuck it. I hate this place. No, that would that would really fucking suck. Um, yeah, that would be a major bummer. Like, this place is such like a, you know, when people think of, you know, like, the New England Mellon Hardcore Fest. I mean, just so many shows come through. It's got so much, like, metal history here. And Scott Lee is a super cool dude. And just, just, it can't go. Like, it's... This, you drop some. Too many awesome uh, shows here, you know what I mean? So, like, it would be a total bummer if it, uh, if it went away. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, just like, even beyond like, the metal scene, there's still a lot of memories here. I remember, like, going to Parliament 5000 here when I was, like, 11 or some shit and getting kicked out for, like, throwing shards of tapes <laughs> into the crowd. An early warning sign as to my uh, lifelong douchery.